people are used to coming to Baltic to see international artists, artists from across the world showing, but it's equally important to us that people from our own region get to show their creativity and put their work into Baltic. We did their first Baltic open submission during the pandemic, just after lockdown, and it was so well embraced by the region and people really enjoyed that sense of seeing their shared creativity that we felt we had to build this and do it again. The partnership with Fennet came about through our shared sense of belief in the region, in creativity in the region, and the sense that we could come together to support the social purpose of ensuring arts are accessible to everybody. Art and cultural landmarks like the Baltic play a very important part um, of our community and we really need them in our towns for bringing people together, uh, to inspire people, and for people to really connect through art. This exhibition is a celebration and testimony to the uh, sheer breadth of creative talent in the region, and we're so honoured to be partnering with the Baltic. The exhibition is a way of showing the process of my work, which is primarily based on overprinting and layers and almost finding um, the, dis uh, the, the disregarded or the forgotten materials that people throw away and, and trying to find the beauty in, in those things. The reason I call it Shifting Surfaces is it's, it's a collection of my work which over the next six months uh, in three separate stages uh, it'll transform and it'll reconfigure. Um, you know, the work here is, it, it, it ranges from pop iconography like music the heroes and stuff to much more abstract stuff, stuff that I've found in charity shops. By clashing these two things together, type and image, you get this kind of third meaning in a way, um, which is created from the juxtaposition of those things. Throughout these three stages, I want to create, create a kind of organic shift in perspective by painting over the top of stuff, by redacting type, by sometimes destroying some of the imagery. The act of doing that creates the space for the next stage to exist in a way. I saw the open submission come up and I knew I wanted to apply for it. I was absolutely thrilled to have my painting accepted and even more thrilled that I got the Lightbox Commission as well. It's been like a really like validating process for me and my practice. I knew that I was going to have to make something kind of like bespoke for the commission, it being a really long kind of thin light box and I really wanted to celebrate uh, areas in and around Newcastle and North Tyneside. My practice always uses really synthetic and bright colours and initially I think it can make my landscape seem really optimistic and almost like a utopia but I think the closer you get into the work you kind of something's a little bit off maybe. As an artist, you do art, you create some imagination, and you believe some point some will, someone will interest about your style, but you never arrive to level like, yes, do you know what, they will like my artwork. Not only like, they will even press on the flag. So that's quite a big deal for me. And when I heard this, I really honored, and I was super emotional and uh, this is one of the moments in my life I will never forget. I mostly focus the art for the emotions, for the moments, for the uh, daily life, for the social, uh, politic and psychological uh, reality in the world. The process is just I do sketch and sketch and sketch and I feel more comfortable to painting on the large canvas and I express my the last sketch I choose to canvas. This is an animation I made, it's inspired by uh, synthwave music and all the aesthetics that came along with uh, 80s retrowave. The idea was to show what was cool about the 80s instead of parody in it and that's kind of informed a lot of like the stuff I've ended up making. It kind of fits in a bit with this false nostalgia and the cables didn't work that well so it had like all the scan lines and the skipping that was going through it. So the narrative part of it is sort of showing how I experience like flow state things like that so when you're working on something and just really concentrating on how it goes so it's like you have a road without a turn off because you're just really going towards uh, the destination to it but it's kind of enjoying the journey uh, that's happening with it. This is my work, Construction Fencing Taxi Manhattan 2023. It's a Polaroid photograph that I took in, in Manhattan last year. Really interested in Polaroid photography because it produces a, 
a single image, it produces a, like a, a photographic object. They're quite small, I think they're quite intimate objects as well, they, they feel like they're sort of meant to be held. The image itself, I'm really interested in producing some more abstract photographic images. Um, I think photography can often be very literal um, and descriptive. The focus is on this construction fencing that's in front that you're looking through to this taxi that's in the road behind. It's been a really great opportunity to take part in open submission. It puts all the artists on the same level. So there's a real mix of kind of obviously professionals and amateurs and celebrity names and uh, some unknowns. And it's really lovely to see everything given that same status and all exhibited together.